Well, a fierce courtroom fight over what some view as an effort to advance a political agenda in the classroom. It all started with classes in Tucson, Arizona, that were taught from a decidedly Mexican American point of view, as opposed to just American point of view. State lawmakers actually passed a law to try to block what was being taught in that course, believing that the professor was promoting racial resentment against whites and possibly pro promoting even the overthrow of the U.S. government. Supporters of the class disagreed, so they sued. Some teachers and others sued, uh, cha challenging that that law was not constitutional. And that's where Trace Gallagher picks up the story. Trace? And you have to remember the context, Megan. These were history, literature, and civics classes being taught in four different Tucson schools. And the lessons included things like the fact that Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, and California were occupied states controlled or owned by Mexico that belonged to Mexico. Also, that these Latino students were being oppressed, that Ben Franklin was a racist, and Che Guevara was a hero. After many complaints, the state superintendent and the state lawmakers both told the school to stop these classes and comply with state academic standards. Well, teachers and students at the school sued, claiming that school and the state was violating their rights to free speech. Well, first, a state judge ruled in favor of Arizona. Ruling that the classes promote resentment toward white people. Teachers and the students appealed, so now a federal appeals court judge has also ruled in favor of Arizona, and a group called Save Ethnic Studies is now vowing to pick up the fight and continue on. And while these legal battles have been going on, Megan, there is a separate federal court dealing with a decades long Tucson desegregation effort that has now ruled that Tucson schools need to bring back. These cultural education classes, how that fits in with the Ninth Circuit Court ruling is still a little foggy, but the state of Arizona says they are two separate cases and they believe that they will not overlap. We will soon find out. Thank you. All right, Trace, thank you. Joining me now to discuss this, Camille Charles, who's a professor of sociology at the University of Pennsylvania, and Ben Shapiro, who's a syndicated columnist, editor at large of Breitbart News, and author of the book Bullies. Panel, welcome. Uh, thank you both so much for being here. Ben, let me start with you. Um, they, the, the court, for the most part, sided with the Arizona lawmakers, saying, you, you know, you just can't do this. You can't go into class and, and have folks teach this. But the, but the teacher and the students said, Look, there are other ethnic studies classes. Why not this one? Well, the problem is twofold here. One is what's actually being taught in certain ethnic studies classes, which tends to be on a myopic focus on the idea that America is a racist place against certain ethnicities and minorities. The second point here is just the giant waste of taxpayer dollars that this constitutes. Look, I took Jewish studies courses when I was at UCLA. There are only two reasons that you take a Jewish studies course. The first is to meet girls, uh, and the second is to get an easy A. And that's why most students are taking ethnic studies courses unless they're buying into this, this radical ideology that really is the basis of all ethnic studies courses throughout America. Interesting. I had no idea that that was secretly the purpose behind the Jewish studies courses. Uh, <laughs> it neither. explains a lot about uh, the, the makeup of some of those classes back at my school. Uh, let me ask you this, Professor Charles. Um, I understand wanting to, there may be ethnic studies classes that are legit, and you know, that, that those, those are pretty common. But in this class, this, this professor, Curtis Acosta, was using texts that talk about, talk about occupied America, that talk about um, white people being gringos. Uh, talk about, as they said, Benjamin Franklin, who is a racist, and on and on. And it seems like they were stirring up anti uh, race sentiments. I think that's certainly one way to interpret that. Um, I, I take some offense at the idea that ethnic studies courses are designed entirely to stir up anti American sentiment because that suggests that the people who take those courses don't feel any kind of attachment to the United States, which just no. isn't true. Um, I think the no, that shouldn't be that, the suggestion, obviously. The, the suggestion is that, that anti American Excuse, excuse me. Let, let, let excuse let me. Go ahead, Professor. Thank you. So I think that the things that you mentioned um, in terms of the racial attitudes of Benjamin Franklin or the fact that there was a time in our history where uh, parts of what is now the United States were actually Mexico, um, that people of African descent, of Latin American descent, of Native American descent uh, were exploited and oppressed. Um, 
at a point in our history, I think those are all factually accurate. But that's not and exactly. I think that to but, move but that, us toward, but let me just interrupt you just to, to keep the debate going because that is less controversial the way you just phrased it than what was actually happening. I mean, referring to white people as gringos. Let's start there. Is that appropriate? What if what if these texts referred to black people by the N word? Well, I, there are texts you read in college that do refer to blacks as the N word because we read Huck Finn. We read other oh, works of literature that use so that, those phrases. No, I'm saying that there is a place for doing those things. If, depending context on the context, matters. I do not believe that these courses are intended or that this particular professor's intention is to stir up anti American sentiment. So, what I see here in terms of. All right, hold on. The, I got to get both parties the in. So let Look, me give it back to Ben and, and ask you, you know, Ben, to respond. Yes, context matters. And ethnic studies courses are based on the basic idea of critical studies. Critical studies is a notion that the typical history doesn't include enough about particular races, and therefore we have to break it down by race. So there's black history, and there's Jewish history, and there's gay history, and there's Latino history. What is anti American about that in general, as just a general matter, is the idea that America is not a melting pot with a similar set of ideas that, that undergirds all of Americanism. Uh, and that is what is so disturbing about all of these courses. Again, uh, the, the bigger question in all of this is what purpose does it serve, especially when you're talking about state tax dollars going to subsidize studies like these ethnic studies courses. Who is going to graduate from these courses and then be better off because they took these courses in terms of job, in terms of work well, life, that, in terms of contributing to America? That's my last question for the professor, America? because they, what they say is, number one, Tucson's test scores are among the lowest in the state, so the, the district is saying, look, we need, we need the teachers to focus on actual academics and not teaching the students that Arizona is currently occupied and still belongs to Mexico. Um, but they also said that the, te that the students come into the class and they're fine and they're, you know, there's no difference between them. They say, but this is a quote in the New York Times, but once they get told day after day that they are being victimized, they become angry and resentful. That is uh, that's quoting one of, a, one of the teachers from uh, Tucson. I'll give you the last word, Professor. Yeah, again, I think that Different people have different perspectives on this. I think that if we taught a more accurate version of American history in our quote unquote mainstream American history courses, that there would be far less need for these kinds of courses. These aren't about overthrowing the government. This is about understanding who we are and where we came from. That doesn't make us less American. It actually puts our stories back into American history so that there's all this effort at not talking about things someplace we have to talk about those things okay. and I don't know who said that people come out more angry than they went in but unless there's empirical evidence for that I just don't buy it. Uh, it it's a man named John Ward who taught a Latino history class in Tucson uh, speaking of that, that but obviously the school administrators also had a problem with it and one more than one uh, audited the class and thought that the man's uh, you know having Che Guevara hanging on the, the picture of him on the wall and so on were a little over the top in any event uh, right now the court has said the teacher has to stop this because it's not consistent with the Arizona law panel thank you both so much coming up